So, do you all trust me when I tell you that there was sound when this podcast started? Do you all believe me when I tell you that when I said hello and welcome to Wednesday Night Warfare and the Battle of Lobus, it's part two with the Armchair Dragoons, that uh, I intended the very best and that for some reason OBS decided to shut off my settings? However, um, ooh, whoa, Maniagnosis. Maniagnosis. What a lovely, that's, that's a nice screen name. Has, thank you. For telling me there was no sound. Oh my god. Uh, it is not the mime channel. We are talking now. Hey, let's go around the table very quickly. Vucker, say hi. Hello. Okay, why are we not hearing you? Uh, let's. Oh, that's right, because you're over here on my microphone, so they probably did hear you. Yes. Dalinar, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. To hi, say hi, everybody. Red. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> and. Uh, the, oh, thanks, Haz. I appreciate you. And Chrono, say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody. All right, let's start over. So this is the Battle of Lobosits, uh, a little bit of a change for us. But I, I did get some comments about the rules from a great commentator online, and I want to respect this. Gary from the UK wrote to us after watching, and I want to do our corrections because this is important. Um, number one, anytime cavalry draws in a combat, both sides retire even if a break test is not required. They both uh -huh. retire. Number two, an initiative move is, and I verified all these, and I thank Gary for, not that I would have doubted Gary, but I just really wanted to say, really, did I miss it that bad? And he apologized for being a rules lawyer, and I said, no, that's usually has his role. We call this doing a hasdrable. Uh, and it's a good thing. Number two, the initiative move is a normal order, so it can involve a formation change. An initiative move can involve a formation change. The proximity rule is designed to stop units moving into their flank quarters. So formation changes and formation and, and changes in facing are allowed. They are allowed if you're in that front quarter, so long as they remain in those quarters. Okay. Apparently, this was part of a fact in 2010. So it's that part I'm not taking the blame for because it's not in the rules. So you can make formation and change facing at, within the front quarter as long as you stay in that quarter. And one thing that is not in the QRS and actually does matter here, large units get a plus one to their stamina. Interesting. That is not in the QRS for some bizarre reason. And I thanked Gary very much for that. Um, oh, and by the way, one that we absolutely do get to slap Jeff with, because it's his fault, you do not need to roll to countercharge. It's automatic. Oh. You automatically yeah, you get to Yeah, you figured that one out at the end of the last one. Yeah, you automatically get to countercharge. So we got a bunch of stuff going on there. Um so, Velker, so you know. Dalinar, why don't you show Velker what it is that uh, he's going to be commanding as we keep going forward here? Well, what's left. So you've got all these dragoons. No, but you'll notice that they've taken this damage over here. And you'll notice that these, uh, these Prussian line have been disordered. They've been whooped on a little bit. That's my guys. That's oh, those are your guys? Okay. Are these guys mine? Are these dragoons are his, right? right? Yes, all the all the cavalry are his. Okay, all the cavalry got it. So Hop. And the Hop and the uh, artillery up here. So it's these guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that's gonna... not a lot of guys. It's not, but we'll see if uh, our if there were a little bit more than that at one time. Yeah, you'll see them lined up along the wall here, where uh, where Jeff got him slaughtered. Thanks, Jeff. I'm very appreciative. <laughs> so the real question is, in the meanwhile, can Red get Brigade Colorat over the river? Can he get that done? Yeah. And can he get it done in a timely manner? Let's also remind ourselves that in Black Powder the Second Edition, uh, the Supreme Commanders, the Divisional Commanders, they don't do the same thing they did in the First Edition. Instead, they give a reroll, a single reroll of a command roll. So where is Frederick right now? Where's he hiding now? Oh, good question. Where is Frederick? He's oh, yeah. All the way down here with this gun. Why? 
because uh, Jeff wanted to make sure that he motivated that cavalry or the artillery to move where it is, where you'll notice it has unlimbered. Okay. And, and now is stuck. And now is a little bit stuck. Where is our... Uh, that's true, because it can no longer move. The artillery cannot move from that spot now that it's been deployed. I'm very unimpressed, Jeff. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's questioning Jeff's judgment, and I think many others are. Uh, and where do we have our Supreme... There's Brown. Brown, the uh, Supreme Commander for On our, his way. the Austrians. He's making his way over. He's a Girl Scout. He's a brownie. Yes, he's a brownie. Yes, yeah, with a knee. He's on his way over to motivate Colorado and uh, <laughs> yell at him for a bit. <laughs> so, um, Chrono, I'm assuming you'll pick up Giorgio's guys that were sort yeah. of hanging out over these, here. Yeah, I'll pick these two up. Yeah. Since my other brigade is uh, Ors de Combat. Yeah, to, <laughs> that's a, that is a fair observation. So let me, I think that that covers everything that I needed to say about the last battle. Yeah, that looks right. Let me just take a quick look at the chat here to make sure I'm handling. You know what? You know what I still haven't done, Ron. I know. I was so. I, I, thing, I was Twitter. so. I was so distracted by the lack of sound that I have failed to tweet. Ugh. I know. I'll some, forgive you. Some days. Some days. That mean we should all tweet together. Okay, everybody on the count of three. One, two, three. Tweet. tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh boy. Tweet, tweet. Little on the nose, people, but uh, you know I love you for it. Um, there we go. Cool. And uh, let's talk a little bit. And it is something that came up in the last game about overall morale collapse, right? Um, we've got. I don't know if it narrates it in the QRS or it doesn't. I don't actually think it does. That's kind of interesting. Obviously, we know where there's supposed to be brake tests taken. We know when there's supposed to be all these rolls taken. But they do not narrate the overall rules for how things begin to collapse. It will be remembered that the entirety of this Prussian brigade dissolved in the first game. Or in the first session of this game, I should say. And uh, as a result, that starts to put just a tiny bit of pressure on our friends, the Prussians. So, I do not need shooting from buildings. I, I marked this. I do not need these advanced rules either. There we have retiring units. Uh, there we are. Broken brigades. A brigade is deemed broken if at the beginning of a turn one uh, at turn once half or more of its units are destroyed and removed from the table or shaken. So it's destroyed or shaken. If it is composed of only two brigades, then it is only broken when both brigades are broken. All right. Are broken or shaken? If both. Okay. Yeah, if they're taken off the table or shaken, they count towards being a broken brigade. But if the brigade is only composed of two units, both of them, you don't you don't do it at fifty percent, you have to do it at a hundred percent. Okay. Uh, and a broken army. Do, 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 do. One half the brigades in an army are broken then all the other brigades are automatically broken as well. This is often the signal for the game to end. So let's, uh, let's do a little simple math here, looking for our circles. We know that there's a brigade here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six. So there are a total, and then of course the one that's off the map, which is seven. No, actually, though, I don't think we pulled the commander off, did we? No, he's uh, hiding back right. here. So there's yes, a total sir. of six. So if, th so if two more of the uh, Prussian brigades go, that's trouble. Uh, and then over here, we see on the Austrian side, 
one. Now Lowenstein here, of course, we can see he is marked. He is broken as well. He's just slowly making his way off the map. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five. I believe I count five. Mm -hmm. So it's three as well. So it's three and three. Um, both have one each. So there, there's, there's some fragility going on out here. And, uh, yeah, so with that, I think we'll pick up. It'll be remembered that the Prussians are the attackers. So let's go through our turn sequence because we are always good about that. Command. You will now move units starting with initiative moves. Uh, Velker, initiative move is a move that you make if you are within 12 inches of your foe. I don't think you have anybody within 12 inches. You do. Ooh, that's actually closer than I would have guessed. Also over here. Oh, is that an oh, enemy? No. Oh, it is. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's. I think that's your lot. You can pivot that gun. You can't move it. And by the way, that is two bases, not one but two. So uh, that's there. Who else is within twelve inches? These lads. Yep. Yeah. Don't know as they're going to want to move, but they are there. Anybody else? All right. These these two over here. I think potentially this guy to the cavalry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These three and potentially this guy because he's way in the back. Yep. So and these... I think it's artillery as well. Oh, well, would yeah. we say would we say that this fellow, though, is in... I don't know is this guy's in anybody's front quarter. That's true. Depends on how you... Want angle the quarter? It's yeah, 45, let's, let's right? have a look. Yeah, it's a 45 degree. It kind of catches its corner. It right? does a little bit. It does a little bit. But I'm gonna. Ah, I think it's any part. It's any part. So. Yep. All right. Let's call it. The, let's call it in then. So, these fellas certainly. These fellas. Those fellas. Um, you're you're limited in your movements, right? You know, you're not as free to move as you might want. But like we said, you can change formation. You can change facing. You can do a lot of different things. The sole goal meaning you can't hustle around the other side. So any initiative moves that you would want to make? Chrono. Hang on a second. Jim, Chrono. Uh-huh. Chrono, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I've got to step away. I've got some concern. I'm going to be gone for maybe five, ten minutes, maybe. I've got to step away for a second. I'll be back as quickly as I can. Cool. No problem. I'm just going to leave the game on. I'm sorry. That's, we'll, 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 we will muddle it through. All right, Valkyrie, do you want anything with these? Because they're within, oh, well, they're not. And yeah. now, of course, and now, of course, I'm getting the message from uh, Dragoon Central that I put the, uh, my studio link in instead of the actual <laughs> video. I'm having an afternoon. I'm having an evening. Bear with me. Now, this at least will let me peek over here and see who might have joined us. Who do we got in the chat? Man, my internet connection is not being as brisk. We've got nine people watching. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. Has, Ian, good to see you. John Stanley, Mac Daddy, good to see you guys. All right, let's try this again. We already got likes. <laughs> you'd, think I'm, you'd think I'm not all right, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? I haven't started drinking yet is my problem. that go to tweets delete naughty tweet proceed so from those on the Prussian side any initiative moves yes what you got go for it what they going change go for it actually it'd be a facing change wouldn't it well, I don't know what you're doing. You have to tell me. 
want to face this way, mm -hmm. but be in line, not in column. Oh, well, actually, that's a that's quite the proper move. The question is, I assume you're going to what you're going to want to do is do it the way they would have done it, which is turn this guy to the right and then face everybody off of him. Right, that's what I thought. Okay. Well, first you got to tell him what he's doing and roll for it, remember? Oh, it's just initiative. Never mind. You get, initiative. You get yeah. it for free. But you don't get to move him if you go initiative. Remember that. You only get one action. Correct. I don't need to move. All right. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Back. False alarm. Nothing horrible happened, and I'm glad it was a false alarm. And I did not notice this while Ron makes his move. I did not notice this until I went over this during the middle of the week. This is the 58th game in the Wednesday Night Warfare series, meaning we've been doing this for a year. Yeah. Oh, wow. A year and two months then, right? Yeah, something like that. A year and a month. A month and a half. There you go. Well, 58, you're right. Yeah. Well, it'd be 60. All right, because it would be six more. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's getting there. All right, so that's one, that's one initiative move. You know I'm gonna want you know I'm gonna want you to put that flag base in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. Make me feel better. Thank you. Beautiful plumage. All right. Anything else? I don't think there's really. Because all you can do is either move or formation change. Right. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So there's nothing he can do. What do you feel? What do you think, Velker? Over here. Uh, you can turn that artillery to face if you wish. I don't know if he's that good to fight. Well, the the I, it's not even that. It's I think the concern that was being raised earlier was that these guys are coming. Right. I get what the, what's going on. I'm just I don't think I'll be able to take the guns that way. Yeah, you can. Let, let him look at. Just turn them. No, and, and they go base by base. That's two units that you've got there. Oh, so, so you really, can... You probably only face the one gun. Yeah, you can leave the one gun facing this way and the other gun faces that way. There you go. Any other initiative moves? Nope, I don't have any. I don't think I do. All right. You want to go left to right, right to left, Ron, with any uh, ordered moves? I'll hit my side first. Um, Uh, correct me again, because I'm getting games confused. Firing is in a different phase, right? Yep. I want to rally these guys. Uh, the rally, the... Oh, that's right. You're talking about the rally order. Right, right, right. Okay, yep. Uh, so that's going to come from... Ferdinand, there are no... Now, that's the other question. Do we deter, Yes, we did determine he is within 12 inches of the enemy, which makes every such command more difficult. Uh, he is, however, right there. So you're going to need... Yeah, you're going to need a nine. <coughs> ah, the dice aren't really... Let me find those other dice. Got them. All right, so that fails, and that fails all of uh, Ferdinand's guys. What else you got? Oh, I forgot that's how this game works. Oh. Now it's a whole lot like the blue books. Oh, you messed up. Okay, everybody's messed up. Congratulations. Well, the brigade is anyway. Yeah. 
Well, if I fell in order, doesn't that mean they go? No, no. No, that means you go on to your next brigade. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. These guys stay and shoot. Oh, these guys. What they gonna do? Um... Moving here. They're gonna move over that way. All three of them. Yep. Okay, brigade order. Is the is the artillery separate? Nope, nope. It's all part of a brigade okay. order. All right. So you're looking for a nine. And of course, I did that exactly backwards. You rolled a seven here, Ron. I can't. Yes. You know, some days. That's a rally. That's a successful rally. That's right, because it's supposed to be below, right? Right. That's what I thought was weird. I was like, how is it my... I'm... Yeah. Nine is I... better than eight. So that was a successful rally. So does that go with this whole brigade then? Uh, it... Oh, yeah. But remember, you can't get rid of your first one. Oh, correct. Okay. And this guy here. That's it. He only has one. Oh, yes. oh, it looks like a two. Is that a two? No. Oh, it is a one. Yeah. Okay, now these guys. All right. Nine or less. So you would have two movements if you wish them. You have two movements, yeah. You've been with us a while, Ian. It's been a pleasure. It is a little weird to look back on that. Now here's a question. Mm -hmm. This guy is separated from his brigade. How Who's does that? He get here. If this brigade is separated from his. Oh, unit. if you want to give him an order, it's he's got it. We measure from the commander to the unit, and every twelve inches is a minus one. All right, so that seven would have worked then. Had you so directed, yeah. Oh, but I have to roll separately for him since he's away from them. Yeah, it's, a, it's also a different number. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he can't okay. take a brigade order like that. That's right. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Okay. So ready? Um... And there's inner... I forget. If there's inner penetration with the black powder? Yep, sure is. All right. I want to move these guys. Who that? Remember, they are disordered. Which means they sit there. Oh, that's right. Dang it. Never mind. And I, is he too far for a rally, or could I just try? No, you can try. try. You can try. It's just uh, one one harder. So, for okay. does does the does it? I thought I remember the commander having to be attached to rally, but that might be me thinking of a different game. <laughs> Aha! You, too, are falling into the trap of... Trying to remember 12 different rules all at the same time. That's that's not an unfair question, though. Let's not screw that up. Welcome to the trap, Chrono. I've been here for probably a year. <laughs> Hooray. You know. All right, here's, here's the other piece. You got to love, I mean... I'm not going to be hypercritical, but for God's sake, it would be nice if you put the word rally in your dictionary. Or your, in your index. It's like, seriously, guys?
Ah. So, choose... Uh, it is not... A, you do not have to be attached, but you may only rally one unit, and it is the last order that commander gives for this turn. Oh. Uh, so, you can only give it to either this infantry or this artillery. Uh, infantry. All right. So, this goes back to two. Okay, I'm done. All right, Volker, you've got a broken unit here. There's actually a whole broken brigade, which I think has to make a retire move. But then you've also got some really good horse, these cuirassiers. Yeah. And you've got these dragoons. On, and I think these are both under Kiao. I don't know if you and Ron have had a chance to talk about what was intended with these guys. But obviously you've got a boatload of Austrians, at least prospectively, coming over. One thing about these dragoons, if they wish to fire, they dismount. And they can dismount. I have, they take a move action to do that. And I have dismounted command and horses right over there. Can Should, I remount? Yes. Yes. If you wish to. But again, I don't know what you and uh, Dalinar may or may not have been able to talk about with respect to this. Who's doing team? Yeah, Team chat. Tell me the plan. There is very aggressive typing going on. I can confirm this. I will say this, for all my frustration with not being able to find things, it's just a lovely, lovely rule book. And I will say this, Valkyrie, yeah, I just I did want to confirm it. This unit here, mm -hmm. these dragoons, they have to make a full move uh, towards the end of the table. They're just they're just heading off either this way or this way until they leave the table. And there's nothing I can do about that. No, correct. They're just you just navigate. You just have to navigate them such that they leave. Right. And what is a full move? I am glad you asked because that affords me the opportunity to remind myself of movement rates in black powder. Uh, cavalry, da, 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 18 inches. Is this cavalry? Mm -hmm. Cavalry. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's what they have to go then. And do they make it? Nope, not quite. Yeah. All right, so there is interpenetration, right? There is. All right, so the Prussian cuirassier? Those Prussian cuirassier, what do you they want them to make a move what? and attack these Austrian, Austrian cuirassier? Oh, so there'll be a little fighty fighty. Okay, what you got to do is you got to give them an order. I order you, them to yep. attack. I, yes, and they are so Q is a nine. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll two d six, and you're going to hope to get all the way down there. Uh, I don't know how many move. How far away are they? One move will get it done. Can they see them? They don't have to. Uh, okay. That's plenty. I assume you want to counter charge. Of course. <laughs> so stop halfway, Volker. I'd say that's fair. Come on, Red. Meet him halfway. Seems only right. I like that. Line it up. 
Big horse fight. <laughs> well, let's have a big horse fight then. See, Does that start now? Or the, uh... Take a look here, and uh, nope, we do uh, shooting and then hand to hand. Then I'm going to move my dragoons this way. All right, just sort Wait. of. Hmm. Actually, Doc, I don't know if you know about it. You can't move them up here. Don't they make a support? Yeah, and if you move them behind, they count as providing support. What does that do? It gives you a bonus, just like in Shaco. So that's a, those are two good choices. I mean, I don't think I I think your deployment is reasonable, uh, but oh yeah, but but Ron's but Ron's right. You can also give yourself support now. If you lose that, if you lose that fight, the guys supporting all, may also have to make a break test. So there's a risk to them too. Um, how are these guys split up? They're they're no. What are you talking about? Split up. That's it. That's them. Are these guys individual? They're a giant unit. That's a giant unit. They, they yeah, that's that is a huge honk and run of dragoons. But I mean, I, I'm not disagreeing with you moving them over here either. I, just, I wish I could split them up and send like these guys this way. That you cannot do. That's what I realized. I just, I, I gather excited. it's what you want to do. But... What are my chances to hit them? I don't know how to make the fights happen. My dragoons into the plains towards my artillery. I don't know exactly, but I wish I could say southeast or something like that. Hi. I'm just double checking the charge, but I'm fairly confident. Yeah. Yeah, that works. So the. <laughs> All right. So forgive me. You say you wish to move them, not support. Yes, I wish to move them. Here. Move them there-ish. Got it. Uh, so in the plains near my artillery. In the plains near your artillery. Well, once again, your your buddy. Where'd you where'd you put your? Oh, he's right behind him. Do. Kiao is a nine, so that's all you need is a nine or less on two d six. So that would give you. Uh, so it's a nine or an eight. So that actually would give you all three moves. So you could theoretically move uh, fifty four inches. So you got all the movement on the planet. Well, it's, you can move your, you move your leaders last. Leaders move last. So move your dude, and then you can move your uh, commander. So to be in command, does it have to be the base that he's in? Yeah, it's, it's it, no, it's actually the top of his head. So it's dead center to nearest. No, my question is, it, does this guy have to be connected to each and every one of these, or does it just have to be one of these guys? One edge. Order? Just a one edge. He doesn't have to connect to all of them. Okay. Well, that I, see your, I see your question, yes. That's a lot of dudes. That's a lot of horse. Oh my goodness. Like, they have to come for their right. Yeah, they can't. They, yeah, they got They're penetrating the fight. Yeah, they can't be over there. There you go. Legit. You had 54 inches, so, you know. Go with your bad spell. I, I I struggle to think where you couldn't. Well, considering the table is for is forty eight inches wide, you know. All right, there's the move. Wide, it's ninety eight point seven. I'm uh, sorry, I meant deep. I beg to differ. Oh, it is six feet. Okay. It's seven two. Okay, that's perfectly fine. That's based on the. Aha! Uh -huh. So that means. Totally. He messed up the scales with that. Didn't, oh, didn't, <laughs> didn't, didn't. Jerk. I have to restart. Reset. I am not signing your permission slip for Charlie Brown, you hear me? I, I don't think you have a choice anymore. Uh, I got a Britney Spears in my hands. Um. All right, so that's your move. Any other moves? Any other moves? Felker, you good? I don't think you do. I don't think I do. 
Yeah, you got you had the other brigade, but they're kind of uh, no. got blown up early. Yeah, they got blown up. Yeah, yeah. All right, shooting. I think we'll go from left to right, Ron. So Did you. Get any... Do we get any cover from the woods here? Oh yeah. Oh for sure. Um. What is superbly? I just saw that. What does superbly drilled get you? I know what I have. I need to do this rather than use the book. I forgot. I've got a, an old PDF of first edition, which should be good enough. Besides, it's got the crazy Scotsman on the front, which I like. Oh, interesting. Just so you know, Ron. That superbly drilled that these guys have, it means that even if you fail a movement direction, they get a move anyway. Oh, okay. That's handy. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's those Prussians for you. All right, yeah, and uh, to your point, Chrono, yes, there are movement modifiers. They're obviously in movement range. Uh, I believe they're rolling three dice, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, yep, shooting is three. Usual number to hit is a four. Howsomever, where to go? They are skirmishers and or not clear. I think. Uh, target is skirmishers minus one. Um, I think that's it. So three dice for fives. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, dude! Who are you, and what have you done with Dalinor? <laughs> I think I, I get know, him, but go ahead. You can stay behind. Uh, uh, three dice. Do for... I get this? Go ahead. Do I get this uh, plus one for target within woods or, or similar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, okay. that's that's. I knew there was something that you get for trees. Yeah, that's on your. Uh, that's on your morale okay. check. Attack column. Three three. Yeah, that's like, so yeah, so it's three for three. Yep. Aha. Blocked them all. Oh. <laughs> Still, I'm, I'm, that's, that was, I'm not sure what that amounts to. Is that what, you hit a lot of trees? I guess you did. I guess so. All right, cannonading. You're going to be at range two. Uh, two dice. Two dice for fours. I see no modifiers. Uh, they just, they're disordered. Or, oh, man, I don't know why I didn't see that. They're disordered, yeah, okay. So that's, uh, I, that, that seriously blended incredibly well into the, uh, thing. So two dice for fives. Two dice, right? Mm-hmm. One. One dice for force. Uh, I think I get negative because it's artillery at medium range. Oh, oh, oh this is that. Oh, look at you being honest. So I think I get six. Getting blasted by that morale. Let's see. Hit by artillery at close or medium is a minus two. Ouch. Yep. So six. One for six. Hey, look hey, at that. brings home the bacon. Well done. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm counteracting your good rolling with my own good rolling. Okay. I don't get to get good rolls. These guys. Um, how did we... Did we bugger this up last time? Because those guys have never been able to shoot... I thought they did shoot at least once. But I might be... Oh, wait, is there no... It, you, that's right, you remove it when they use it, so... That's right. Oh, that's right. Is there fog? It's the fog's the, gone. And the fog... That's it. It's the fog. The fog is gone. That's it. Thank you. I knew there was something wrong. So this is their first chance to fire, which means it'll wash back and forth against the, uh, the negative that they get for being disordered. So it's three dice for fours. Dude, 
hits. Yeah, but watch. He's going to, like, roll, like... Two for fours. Two fives, two six. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, finally. They get return fire. Uh Oh, I forgot, though. Ron, where did you... You rolled sixes against these guys, right? In the trees? Yeah, no, five. You only rolled fives? Three fives. All right. Did you roll any sixes against these guys? The cannons I did. All right. That's a disorder. All right. So those guys shot the guns. Who do you want to shoot at? I think it's here. Yeah, it's just like I shoot these guys. I think I think you have to actually. Uh, so that's uh, three, two dice for fours. Thought for fives. Two for fives. You are disordered. One hit. One dice for six. And a six, which is a disorder, right? Yep. No. Oh. Ooh. So that's a hit. Obviously, no shooting going on there. Velker, your guns. Yes. 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 Question, what's the angle for the uh, infantry to the fire? It's their front quarter. Oh, yeah. That's a shot. Now, that's obviously an obstructed shot because of these guys. And Correct. you have to be able to shoot more than half. You certainly can. So, yes, you are allowed to shoot at them, but that will count as an obstructed shot. They also get first fire. Let me... Take off their first fire. Lest I forget. It is, is not in not clear shot is a two hit modifier, I do believe. Not a morale modifier. Yes, this is not a clear shot. So, your first fire and that wash. So, it's three dice for fours. One hit. No. Ping, 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 ping. Nothing there. Thing there, but Velker's got guns. What do you want to do? I'm going to push that on the cab. Yeah, well, it's still not a, it's still not canister range, but that's uh, two dice for fours. Two dice for fours. What is canister range? Six inches. One. One hit. That's one die for six. Oh, look at you. Rolls it off. Hey. All right. And now these guns. You want to shoot at. Yeah, that makes sense. Now that's going to be a bonus because you're firing at a column. It's going to be two dice for fours. Two dice for threes. Oh. Oh. The total is three. <laughs> oh, bitter blow. Bitter blow. All right, nothing there. I think that's all the shooting, right? Did I get it? I think so. One melee. All right. We don't have Jeff here to help us adjudicate, so let's remember this is intense. Oh, whoa. Jeez. It's caressers. Those caressers have nine. They both have nine. Plus, they are both D plus D3. Wow. Okay, let's look at our modifiers. That D3 doesn't come into play, though, right away. They're both charging, so they're going to roll. They're rolling for threes. Yeah. Nine dice for threes. Both of you. Does damage do anything? No, that actually comes out later in terms of who lives and who dies.
Let me get red. Three. Okay, Valker. Six. Yep. All right. Now, both. So that's the native. That is the damage you've done initially. Now you got to try to roll it off. Velker, you are uh, stam. You're, I think you're going to be both stamina three. So both of you are stamina three. Uh, so red six dice for three. Velker three dice for three. Got them all. None. Okay. Red. Okay, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. How many do you need? Six dice for threes. All but one. All right, well, let's... Now, what really matters... So that's your actual damage. You take... This is... What's his stamina? Yeah, it's going to break this unit. Um, it's going to be a test, at least. Uh, or does he just break? I think it's a... Uh, that's right, it's it's a test over stamina. But he's still got to lose. Uh, now, you both have to determine the result of the melee. You've got to roll um, a d3. You've got to roll a d3, and that will determine the, the final outcome. D3 is from both of you. Is that just d6? Yeah, it's a d6 divided in half. That's a 2. Also, it's a... De okay, so that's a tie. So it's a 3 to a 2... Leaves you with four. Velker takes no real damage. Velker's going to win by a scant point, as it turns out, in the charge. Uh, so where's the test? Per excess casualty. Yeah. Good job, Velker. Thank you. Shaken or suffering casualties. Nope. Uh, test if defeated in hand-to-hand -hand combat. There it is. Or, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's what it's going to be. So that's what it's going to test, and it is a... Uh... Yeah. I'm just running down all this. And I do believe, so you've got the one excess casualty, that's the key thing. And you'd think, break test is 1d6 or 2d6? I, we were rolling 2d6 last time. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, yeah. Just making sure, okay, got it. That makes, that, I can't believe that suddenly was a problem. So 2d6 minus 1 red to determine the result. Five. Shooting in hand to hand. Uh, one full move to the rear without changing formation at all times, avoiding contact. It does become disordered if not already so. Uh, yep. One full move to the rear without charging and without changing facing. They go back to three. He loses all excess, and it's 18, yeah. That's kind of where you want him anyway, so hey, it works out. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you certainly don't want him hanging out there, and they are disordered. Now, Velker does have the option to make a sweeping advance. Which means? Which means you charge forward. Uh, you can strike. You could strike him, probably. Yeah, I thought so. It doesn't he get a uh, opportunity to change formation or counter charge or I don't think so because he's not coming from your well go back to where you were Volker please I think they're still in his front quarter too. well that's that's going to be the question I think he can get out of his front quarter pretty easily actually with an 18 inch move yeah but isn't the CV advance in a straight line generally Stuff I really don't do a lot of, I will admit. Sweeping advance. Do, 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 do. Yeah.
you have to break the other unit to make a sweeping advance and charge. Ah. He could make an advance, but he could not enter into contact with the enemy. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure that you're, you're not better off doing that anyway, given everything else that's happening down here. Uh, you did a nice. I mean, you did a nice job putting one on them. So that was the only melee, correct? Yeah. Correct. Um, so all these disorders come off for the uh, Prussians. Until they go, and then they go back on again. That's the way it works. All right. And now as this is the end of the turn, Frederick leaves the battlefield. What? He is sad. Oh. He is sad and afraid. He runs away. Fred, no. Well, now, if this had been going, I would be too. The way he is, he has fled the battlefield, weeping and in tears. Why? Because he, he's a. Several times, his melancholy flute playing self decided to leave the battlefield, and he has done that in this case. Now, under Black Powder One, that would have been a bigger deal. In Black Powder Two, it's not because he's just replaced by another senior leader. So while indeed that is no longer Frederick over there, you do still have a senior leader. In the old rules, he would have had a lower strategic rating. Now it's just a narrative piece that Frederick has left the battlefield. Is this the plant Frederick? He wanted to tend to his plants instead of... No, that's Francis. Okay. That's Francis I, the emperor who faced Napoleon, yeah. When botany we go is more your thing. <laughs> they... They headed out. No, this is the Frederick that we visited in Berlin. Remember when we saw the cool uniforms? Although he was short. Oh my goodness, was he short? <laughs> yeah. Must have real skinny too. Um, all right, so that's it. Austria was skinny. I, harder to hit you with a bullet. I understand, and I respect that. Austrians command phase. Do you have initiative moves? I still am skinny. I'm more muscular now. Yes, yes, we do. You have initiative moves. Very good. Uh, yes, I think we do. Test out. There's this thing has in Great Britain, and I would have to ask our British guests to say this. For us, die and dice is a difference. When they say dice, that can also be singular. That really blows my mind, but I've actually caught that, and it's sort of a surprise, but there it is. What's the rule on, on initiative moves again? I have to move, to, if I'm going to move towards somebody, I have to go with the close to the closest unit, correct? Well, if you're going to chart, well, you've got, no, you've got your, it's just a move to your front quarter. you got to make a move to your front quarter. And it's only one move. I don't think anybody here has that. Colorat's all out of range. Here on the I move, I move forward and then not charge or. Sure. Yeah. Just bearing in mind all your, you know, your exclusion zones. Disorder troops can't move, right? Correct. They are parked. I hey, necessarily only... with an initiative move, do I have to move forward? Good question. I don't think so. Oh, no, maybe it is to your front, or maybe it's your front or rear quarter. I tell you, you can fall straight back if it's an initiative move, but that's it, just straight back. Mm hmm. Let the record reflect. Uh, here it is. Yeah, 12 inches. Whatever you want. So disordered troops cannot move forward, correct? They can't move. Oh, they cannot move. Right. Oh, brother. Okay. 
And I'm going to move these Jaegers. Oh, okay. You're way over there. Going to slip this way. Scooch. Scooch, 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 scooch. Oh, of course I would mess it up. And remember, you got you got to pay the the you pay half for that, so you can't go that far. Right. Nope. Oh, that's right. I start in the woods too, so worry on this. Might as well just assume you're. It's it's all two for one and. Yeah. So I basically get six inches. Yep. Because by the time you leave the one, you're touching the other one. Yep. How's he? How's he getting to move right? Initiative, right? Yeah, what you doing with him? No, this guy? This uh -huh. guy's just a, a... This guy's stuck there. So, yes. it's this guy. Got it? That one there. And I can't interpenetrate, correct? You can. Yes, you can. Okay, that's an ordered move there, so... What you ordering him to do? Well, I didn't know we were on ordered moves yet. Oh, we're not. Okay, yeah, it's. I just. No, I wasn't going to move until it was ordered move time. All right. I've got another Jaeger here who's within 12 of that cannon who's also going to do some movement. Mm hmm. And they're going to scooch up to here. Six. Mm -hmm. Eight. Nine. I thought movement was 12. For which? Yeah, but he's in the trees. So he's oh, these are Jaegers, too. Yeah, yeah well, r anybody else couldn't enter those trees. Right, what I'm saying is I thought you had to pay, ha like, half. He well, does. It, was like eight, it was, like, eight up to there, and then he moved, like, another two. Oh, so, okay. That works. And that's all my uh, initiative movement. Any other initiative moves? No? Regular moves, what do you want to order? Start in the right, start in the left. You want to start right or should I go? Uh, well, let's try to move what's his name again. Okay. What's the order? Oh, rat. What's the order? Uh, what is it? They're going to try to, this brigade is going to try to once again go over the bridge, over the, uh, across the, uh, forge, so. Well, and again, they can, they can use, the, the river itself is fordable. It just costs, it just costs the, uh, it just costs the, the penalty. The forge just doesn't have a penalty. Okay, we're just going to try to cross the, uh, this guy, uh, what is it? Try to cross the river, probably, and shake out the line. We're just going to try to cross the river. Yeah, I don't know. We can move across the, for the quickest. Yeah, I don't know. The, uh, I, I don't know if you've got anywhere near enough to. Hey, Velker, can you or can somebody shoot me a line from the lead brigade out to out to say here? Yeah, I mean you've only got. You only got how many? It's what twelve inches of move. So by the time you hit there, you've got four inches yeah. left. Oh, as far as they possibly can. Yeah, that and unless yeah, one, of, unless of course one move. unless of course you get multiple moves. But what I'm looking for real quick is exactly how brigade orders work, because that's that's now a big deal when you're talking something of that bloody size. I think we're about to shake out the line. Do it now. It doesn't affect our actual movement rate, so... It doesn't, yeah. Plus, you are in musket range, so... Could start getting shots. I can shoot through this, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. Uh, Why don't we just move up to... The, move, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, these first three... No, these first, uh... 
things up as close as I can yeah. get them to the river. So, so here's the deal with brigade. Line. No piece of the brigade may be six inches away from any other piece. So you're not going to be able to move everybody. Right. So you're, you know, like these three guys can go. These guys can all go. But you, you're going to have to break it down at least into two chunks. I thought it was like, I thought you could chain it. Nope, it says no piece may be more than six inch. Oh, I see what you're saying. See, they wrote uh, th th they wrote this in British, to be honest. I oh, will cheer to this guy, because they're not. This guy's aren't either six inches away from this guy or this guy. Well, but that's the question that I'm raising because what it says is, if they, they all be within six inches, like a coherency thing. So long as all small footprint. none are more than six inches apart. Is there a diagram? Nope. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest that we take that to mean that they can't be like the Blucher rule. You can't be outside that base limit. See, but that's and not these what guys see, are clearly not. See, that's the thing is that I assume that's what that means, but that isn't what this says. Um, it, a brigade commander can issue an issue to any units of a brigade so long as all the units form a group with none more than six inches apart when the order is issued, and none more than six inches apart once the order has been carried out. I think that is how you have to interpret it. Let's go for it. Yes, let's make it so. Somebody tell me in the chat whether I'm right or wrong. So yes, go okay. ahead, proceed. Oh, uh, so go proceed. ahead and roll for the guys. So go, go for Colorat. Go for Colorat. Yes. Eight or less. Eight or less. River. Okay. Wait, I gotta give an order first. What's gonna happen is, is they're gonna go to the river and break into line. All right, go for 2D6. it. Two d six. Two d six. Need an eight. Uh, finally. Yay! Well, well, but the pro pro problem is that me you won't make it across the river. And you, I said to the river yeah, and break into line. You won't, though. That means I'll just get to the river. I'll get to as close to the river as these guys can move and then stop. Okay. Got it. Right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. But, uh, no, you can't. You can't change formation. That's a, that's another die. No, 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 no. I understand that. Okay. So that means I can move to the river, mm -hmm. but I can't change formation. I'm stuck in the formation I'm in. Groovy. You dig it. Okay. That Stay is... at six. <laughs> However, that is moving, which has more than happened before. It's true. They moved like once the very first turn, and then probably fell back across the river and did nothing else for the rest of the game. Are there black powder tournaments? I have never heard of that. I cannot imagine playing black powder in a tournament. It does not seem like a game designed for tournament. No. Uh, no, it's definitely not. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad rules. I just would not play this. Well, I don't play tournaments, period. What do I care? But. Uh, my impression is the Napoleonic rule of choice for tournaments is Field of Glory Napoleonics. That's pretty much all I ever see. My interest in non-historical OOB tournament play miniatures is a is somewhere approaching zero. I played in a few tournaments, non-historical though. Oh sure. And, you know, but... I played a couple of Battletech tournaments. I played in, uh, and of course, Magic the Gathering tournaments. Oh, but you guys... it was so funny. A bunch of years ago, Velker wanted to learn how to play Magic the Gathering, and so we decided to try to learn it on YouTube. You ever watch tournament people play? They don't even have to talk to each other. It's no, yeah. weird. The one tournament we played was uh, my wife's first time playing. It was just at a local hobby shop. It was a tournament. We're playing two-headed gi uh, giant, which is like you have a partner and you play off each other. I had a different partner. I had a friend of mine. She played with my uh, the best man that was at her wedding. He, he she played with her for the very first time. They came in second place out of twenty people, out of twenty teams. I was so mad because mm. I came in sick. <laughs> Colorette's coming. Finally, he coming. Well, at least to the river edge. <laughs> yeah. They're demonstrating. Hey, Velker. Yes. 
Just so you know, do not roll double sixes on order turns. Don't do it. That's Red's job. That's the blunderation. Right? That's that's blunderation. Let's see. And we got target. I can rotate a gun for free, right? Nope. That's a move. Okay. Well, that's part yep. of a move anyway. Yep. So. Well, remember, one, he's, he, uh, he's limbered right now. But no, he fired. The... He's been firing. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Well, how do these guys get scarred up then? This, that's the cavalry. That's yeah. the dragoons. Yep. No, no, no. Oh, that's the dragoons. Okay. Um, no, let's go ahead and uh, unlimber where he's at. That's an order. And, okay, wouldn't that be with his commander? Totally different. The whole it, thing? It's got to be a different order. Okay. One of the principles of a brigade order, it has to be substantially similar. If you had said, I'm, uh, mo I'm moving him up here, if you, I'm moving him up here and unlimbering him, I'd buy that. This would be a pain to play in a tournament. Oh, I agree. I wouldn't do it. Hey, they did it. Plenty. Look at that. All you got. Spin. Unlimbered. You just spin them. And we can give him a turn now. Yeah. Now he can shoot. Yep. Um, I'm just going to retire these guys since we're thinking about it. Yep, they're gone. These guys these guys retire off the table. It's an 18-inch move, so yeah, yeah. these guys are definitely off the table. Lovenstein leaves. Uh, I think okay. Let's see. Uh... What's his name? Yeah, he's within his They're range. They're not quite. Oh, they just well, they they broke the table edge there. So yeah, we'll we'll get him out of here. I don't know what we're holding on to him for. Okay, we're gonna try to move this uh, cross. Uh, Them crossiers where? Sorry. Yes, eighteen inches forward only. I'm sorry. Which dude you talking about? These this guys. Guy. Thank you. Yep. Uh, they are within twelve inches of the enemy, so that's a minus one. That's These guys me. in the back. No, that's him. Oh, that's him. Oh, okay. Yep, that's me. That's my own guys. It's, it's all you. It's all you. All you. Yep. Uh, so, let's wow. Go for the dice roll. Bigger table. Uh, you just want to move them that far forward. You need a nine or less. Got it. They can go Ooh. wherever they want. <laughs> well, he said 18 inches, so that's all he's got. Yep, that's all I wanted. Isn't that? I could have charged and. Yeah, he could have done, done all other, kinds of wonderful stuff. Could have done other things. True. Well, it's not what happened. Just so. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Try to stay out of that front quarter of the infantry, but. Back yeah. for more. That's. Yes, Velker. There he is. Okay, moving commander. Oh. I'm in the middle of his brigade. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will move my guys in. I believe I'm finished. Yes, sir. Uh, with my command orders, I'd like to shift these gradiers forward slightly by about to about here-ish. So sort of like on line there on the gun. I'm sorry, you're uh, who are you shuffling these... that way? These dudes? Yeah. Okay, so what's Lacey at? I think he's in eight. eight. Yeah, you're within 12 inches. He's not near anything. Seven. Ugh. Well, that's enough for the dude I wanted, so I'm not going to complain. At least you're getting your orders off this time. Yeah, I was going to say. That's more than half. And I will shuffle. Since there's a lot going on here with the cavalry, I don't have good space, so I'm going to shuffle this guy back in behind the. This other. Shuffle these guys back this way. Alright, another nine. When did they take damage? There's that. There's one back here. I presumed it was theirs. I think that belonged to the curiosity. Curiosity is up top. Ah, don't. These guys have been behind. Got like they've been behind everyone for the entire. Don't leave your damage game. markers behind. All right. And I guess we can shoot. All done. Which way do you want to start from? You might as well start with Red's gun. Um, question before there... we go too far. Uh huh. Can I try to rally these guys or just? Oh no! I have to be ten inches away, right? I got to oh, be that. twelve inches. This guy, these two, and you also, 12? yeah, you, it's yes, you can try to rally them because you were that they're well, they're not Browns. Where is Radha County? Right there. That's Brown. Oh, oh, wait. oh, oh he's wait, back here. Wait. Oh, you moved yeah, Brown. Sorry, he... I moved the wrong guy. Brown should be back right here. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm supposed to move him. Yeah. So you can okay. rally either of these guys. Well, he can't. Well, the point is, was it was he close enough here? Because he's got to be. I think he is. Forty-eight inches. No, twelve. Yeah. He's got to be twelve inches away. But that's yeah. the last thing he can do. I mean, well, in this case, it would well, be the well, last well, thing well, he's No, do. but I mean, it parks him here. Yeah, he can't move. Oh, he can't move. Right. Oh nope. no. Nope. Sorry. Nope. 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 Don't want that. Okay. Um, do you want to start with your guns since you finally getting him into action? <laughs> yeah, guns. Yes, there of you course. Go. Shooting at the gun. Um, Let's go this into here. Yeah. Two dice for force. Or do you take the? Do you take the minus here for doing counter battery, or do you take it on the? Yep, two dice for fives. Hey, I take one. And that's a disorder. I'll take it. Oh yeah. Uh, kind of like the disorder thing. That's a it's a nice little bit of disruption, no doubt about it. Velker, let's see if they did any damage to you. One die for four better. I think it's for sixes because it's medium range. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, but he rolled a six. Man had it ready. But I will take the disordered, so hey. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, I guess I will move on to... I mean, can you fire and call him? Yeah, you can, actually. You get one die. But it's... What's the range? It's that's in range. A, that's a shot. They only need one move, so you might as well shoot with them. <laughs> Those that can. Oh, like one die? Yep. Yeah. It's, one... it's a it's a it's a possibility. It's one die for it's uh, one die for fives. These guys on them. Uh huh. Nope. 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 One die for fives. I think they get unflawed on those guys. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. And this guy is also in range. No, he's it's not. eighteen. Oh, it's eighteen. That's right. Yeah. It's 18 for base muskets. I don't why, I think, why, don't, why do I think 12? But yeah, I think you're right. I think they're also infilotted, so... Yeah, that's 18, yeah. Is it... Do they have... Here we go. Does it, nope. nope. He bro do they have shooting modifiers? Uh, no, infilotted doesn't count. There. Oh, yeah, okay, you're right. That's only for hand. Okay. Yeah. I think you have one more from this guy back here. Mm -hmm. No, he's out. No, oh, but this guy at the end. He's within... Oh, no, both those guys are in. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. got that one and that one, okay? Mm -hmm. like, so right it's, like, it's basically a whole unit's worth of shooting. No. <laughs> oh, man. Well, they didn't want to move. Now they don't want to shoot. Considering how many thousands of guys go. this is. Here we go. Hey, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah, but it's yeah, five. So Velker, okay. one for four. Got it. Aha! Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, indeed. No okay, other so I'm going to uh -huh. shoot this artillery at that Prussian line. Yep. Uh, hey, well, that's not two, for, two for four. I can't see any modifiers. One hit. Run, one for six. Yeah, that ain't happening. Uh, they will fire a volley at them. They are disordered, though, so three for fives. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one. One for four, Ron? Right? They can't shoot. They're disordered. No. Oh, they are. Never mind. Never mind. What's wrong with me? So, uh, no, nothing. So did you did you or did you not block that, Ron? No, no, I did not. All right. Any other shooting These at that? These guys are bullet magnets. Any other uh, shooting I, at that guy? I have this artillery here. That's gonna be over here. Is he? Yeah, there's no is way that's close? there's no way that that's close enough. It is. Well, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. The artillery is just back far enough. The yeah, I, I guess. Oh, I, I thought it went from center though. It does. Well, that's true, but I don't think it's. Oh, that's true. One, four, five. Yep. Guns. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is on the artillery. All right, so I will shoot the so, artillery then. Yep. Go ahead. Two for fives, I think, because mm -hmm. it's kind of... Ooh, one hit. That's a disorder. Nope. Okay. 
the minus from the save. I think that's damage. Let me check on these guys. I think they will also have to shoot them. Yeah. That'll be three for sixes. Yeah, because they're obstructed. Right. That's the block. Yeah. Three but I might as well go for it. Well, sure. It's not like there's ammo. Yeah. Nothing. Excellent. No? I need six. sixes. Oh, I, need yeah. sixes. Um, I think these guys... Let's see. That's six, seven... That's yeah, they gotta shoot sick. there. Okay. And that's an unclear shot. Um, three for fives. You hit and disorder. Oh, oh, a disorder. And run. That's going to be two for fours. Ooh. Got them both. Nice. I think these guys might be at close range. Yeah, these guys are at close range. I don't think so, that that... Does that matter for musketry? I think it does. Close range. six Is it six inches or less? I think it is. Look yeah, from the is. center. Oh, oh dear. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's going to wash the obstructed view. Uh, but that's okay. a three for four. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Nothing. That was terrible. Buppies. Oh, I'm, I don't know why. I'm so used to rolling. But <laughs> <laughs> I failed your saves, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Um, All right, and no melees. So we have to make a check here uh, for this unit. It has sustained more shots than stamina. Uh, the stamina is four, though. Oh, is that a large unit? Yes. No, they're just Prussians. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're just Prussians. That's funny. Okay, so finally they're shaken. Is that right? Look at that. Okay, missed it. Thank you. Otherwise, that would have been a break check. Um, so there is none. Cool. I will. We want to move Brown over here, right, to Colorat. So yeah, yeah. You, we, you would have been allowed to move Brown. So I think he'll make it. He has forty-eight inches or whatever. So. He's finally over here to get Colorado moving. Okay, so how is it, and Haz is pointing this out, as he always does, and it's wonderful. Um... <laughs> Tommy McGuire. With tournaments, the rules may be unreadable, but they're all there. Or there are fistfights, which are fun too. Um... <laughs> Apparently, there is a brigade coherency diagram in the first edition rules, and it indicates that we did it the right way. Oh, that's what I thought, but I've only read the first edition rules, so... Yeah, no, I, I'm sitting here. Here I am, having spent all that money on my elaborate second edition and feeling like a sap. But I bought the rules, so my conscience is clear. Okay. Um, is that it? We good? Over to the Prussians? Uh, get rid of our disordered markers? Yes, yes. Make a little pile, I'll delete them. You are no longer disordered. Anything else? Get them all. Clean up is done. Clean up is done. All right, uh, Prussians. Initiative moves. Felker, you got any? Um, yes, I believe these guys get initiative What do they want to do? Do you want to go smack those guys in the face? Hey, 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 Red, you want to hit them back? Is that what you want to do? Oh, yes, of course. All right, let's figure out the distance. Yeah, there you go. Just just something like that. That's fine. I'm pretty sure it's exactly six. It probably should be because, you know. So, Red, you'll come up on that. All right, other initiative moves. Any? Uh, <clears throat> is Red countercharging? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I also charge in there on the flank? Yeah, you no. get to shoot him as he goes in. Oh, I do. Oh yeah. I thought the only charging unit could talk closing mm, fire. No, no, there's there's support fire for. The, he doesn't get closing fire, but he gets support fire. Pretty sure. But you know. Hey Charlie Brown, here comes the uh, the Von Lucy uh, brigade. Yeah. He is already he is already preparing for that. I'll have you know. He I am? he is ready for the uh, the the football swipe thing we talked. about. He knows what you're up to. He knows. 
It won't do him any good on stage, unfortunately. What's this? What are the formations you can form in black powder? Um, line, attack column. No, you don't get it. No, it's pretty much just line and column in the Seven Years War. What what formation are you thinking of forming? I I, I want you to think. I want you like a cube, like a squadron. I get it. For this gigantic line of Prussian dragoons. Odd game. It's either way <laughs> too skinny or way too wide. And... Yeah, no, no, no. I get that. Where I thought you could. Because there's there's specifically a rule about crossing the front of a unit. There is there is clearly a rule about crossing the front of a unit. You're not supposed to be able to get away with it. But I'm wondering if it is, you don't have to cross the entire front. I thought it was at least half. Oh, that sounds right to me, Red. That sounds right to me. I don't know why that came into my head. I, I was going to say, that's, where'd you pull that from? My goodness. Enfiladed targets? No, we know all about that. Well, we know about skirmishers, thank you. Closing fire. Traversing targets. In situations where an enemy charges across the front of the unit in this way, and within 12 inches, both true, the unit that has been traversed can shoot if the charge is... Look at, look at you! Half the frontage. Just oh, short. just short, man! I don't even like. <laughs> All right, Velker, move back three inches. Because unfortunately, I'm a little concerned that you know we did this. Loosely, but it turns out this matters a great deal. How far it was, because you're supposed to meet halfway on a charge, and how far back he was now matters a ton. Because, I mean, seriously, it's a quarter of an inch. It's almost so serious, I'm willing to put the Oh, there you go. That's what you want to do. Well, but even that doesn't work. Almost kind of want to put the clock back because because that's a huge consequence. If he crosses in front of him, he can fire at him on Falad. Red, right, do you remember how far he moved? He just moved up. He didn't measure. Uh, I thought they both moved about three. But that's my memory. I yeah, thought it was more like four, but I'm not sure. I'm, I moved three. I moved. Three. I know you. Yeah, I know you. Because that's the thing. If red moved three inches, and he was back here, let's take that. As I was just a little bit forward. I was just out of this guy's. This bottle. just right here, here. That's what you're yeah, feeling. Not a little further back. All right. Yeah, even if they met halfway, I don't think he 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 crossed half my front. Well, let's say that's it. I'll feel better about it if that's so. Seven and a half inches, no, a little less. That's not how I remember. What's that? That's not how far I remember. I remember something like six point two. So you think he was even closer to you? Yes. All right, seven seven. Assume it's seven eight. That's three nine. <sighs> ah, yeah, it's not enough either way. Good, I feel better. Thank right. you. Yeah, I was. I would have gave it to because I it's, didn't think it's it was super. Close it's super anyway. close, but boy, oh boy. Yeah. So red, come on forward. We'll leave that there. Excellent. Now well, my question is. Well, can then, I, go ahead. Can I? 
I know they're going to me cavalry me, but can I charge and hit him in the flank? Yes. Yes, you can. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. But then you get charged in the flank. In the next turn. Right, but... <laughs> you gotta order that, though. Oh, no, that's right. That would be a... Initiative. An initiative move? Uh, yeah, because you're... I think so, yeah. Because it was it, they were within 12 inches of my mm, front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, how is he moving forward? This was during the uh, charge phase. It is the charge no, phase. Look this where, is the, initi this initiative, is the initiative phase. phase. You're within 12 inches of his front? Remember, the initiative phase, you don't have to do orders. Anything that was in 12 inches, you could charge. Right. Remember, you're right here. That's in my 45 degree. F yeah, I mean, there's, there, I, I'm not going to, I wouldn't like it either way if there was absolutely no penalty for you crossing in front of somebody at that, at that close range. And there's got to be a risk associated with it. And I think that's pretty reasonable. Any other initiative moves? Uh, these guys. These guys were within 12. Can I move them? Which guys were? Yeah. Mm hmm. Where are you going to move them? Uh, I was going to slide on this way. All right. That's fine. And I want to move these guys up. All right. We have never played Russia Japanese War. Otherwise known as Tsushima Straits, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that'd be great for a, a naval game. A bit one-sided, but... <laughs> <laughs> well... Just a little bit. So, so is Trafalgar, and I like playing that, so... Right. So is Leipzig. Look at how long we played <laughs> That's, that. That's... I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'll put chain you. Ugh. All right, that's all initiative move. All right. What you got? Valkyrie, you got any ordered moves? Uh, you know, these guys, with they're in 12, you could take an initiative charge at them. Yeah. I, I don't know if they fit. Yeah, I'm not sure if they fit. <laughs> so they're going to run to Solowitz. Change formation uh, first. I'd have to enter into calls. Simple way to get my rules. I have something's bothering me in the back of my mind. All right. I think I'd have to order to change formation. Then next turn, I'd have to charge. What formation? Because the only other formation is column, isn't it? Yeah. That's a bad way to charge. Might have to let uh, these guys clear out. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's try um, a rally here, Jim. All right, so who's going to do this rallying? All right. Uh, to, to last order for Ferdinand, eight or less. They are within 12 of the enemy. Oh, doesn't matter. Fails. Bitter blow. Any th any other orders? Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay, because I know you were moving these guys last I'm time. Kind of a traffic jam in the middle of the field here. <laughs> well, a lot. 
The story of the Seven Years' War... I don't like points, Potbellied Slim. You probably won't see me play those. I like right. historical battles. Closest you'll come is Fletcher Pratt, when you can build a ship to a point level, but I'd still like it to be from a particular battle. All right, these three brigades... I'm going to do a face information change. So what are they going to do? This way. They go in the line and face this way. Got it. Uh, are they in range of the enemy? 12 inches away? Are they? Are they? I don't think yes, so. Yes, right but... here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So uh, they need an 8 or less to do to follow your will. Usually I'm good at the 8 or less. Usually I'm good at 6 or less. Yeah. Oh, it was almost a 9. And today you are. Today you are. That actually gives you uh, 3 points. You could technically move 3 times. So you got all the move you need, man. And again, we have lines, people. We have lines. It's called linear warfare. It is. And frankly, I like the fact that they're this big and unwieldy because it does show you. It's like, it's not easy to move them. So, Valkyrie, you're hanging out here and uh, just doing what you're doing with this brigade? Yeah. Uh, I want to form him into column. That's... I don't know what to do because if I form into column, then they can't charge well, but if I don't, then I have to hold the, these guys on the left to figure out. <sighs> I'm gonna say how I am. I think I'm. I think I'm done controlling you. All right. So you're you're feeling okay I about agree. that? I agree. I'm doing good. <clears throat> We're good. Cause yeah, attack column doesn't exist. Mix doesn't exist. Can't form square. I want square. I how about circle? Two. All right, so you're all done, Ren? Yes. Shooting. Valkyrie, you want to start? Uh, sure, start with the guns. That gun can't shoot. It's disordered. But no, it, 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 yeah, it can't oh, shoot. It just I, can't be. It can't be ordered. That's right. So he right. want you got to shoot at uh, dude there probably. Yeah. Yeah, I would so. say. Uh, right back. I I don't. Red, you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, cool. Valkyrie's gonna start shooting at you. Uh, two dice for fives. No, for fours. Oh, two dice for fours because he's in color. The total is four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I had a lot of good, I did, I'm afraid. I'm going to get rid of this disorder marker because it don't matter no more. Uh, all right, so this one here, you want to shoot over at these hussars, I wager. Yes. Uh, two for fours. Dude. Those guns are. Gun where's are the roll? That, where's the Velka rolls? With Velka rolls, That's we paid. We, we pay, stole them at the beginning. We, we yeah. paid. We paid for the Velka rolls. Yeah, Money was. Wait, wait. Wait, Velka's That's an actor. Jeff He's pretending rolls. to be Jeff. He's. 
Hey, he's, and I'm, Jeff, you're doing an excellent job. Oh, you're doing a great job oh, playing Jeff. That's it. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Jeff's going to see this video later and be like, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's, hey, you don't show up. That's what you get. Uh, playing with his grandchildren, whatever. Uh, anyway, this gun is, let's remember, this gun is actually shaken now. Not stirred. Yeah, so that's gonna cost him. Um, so that's two. That's not close range, is it? No. No. So two dice for five. Mm -mm. You guys are also shaken. Yeah. yeah. Three dice for five. Two one. I just ordered again. Yeah. That's that's. It's nice to keep guys from... Hey, you saved it, though. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's uh, two dice for fives. Would it be sixes? Because they're also shaken. No, it's not. It's or. It's disordered or shaken. One. Or, no, is that three? Yeah. So nothing there. All right, these guys. They're going to get a little cover when the time comes, but not right now. Um, so... It's close range. Oh, is that close? Ooh, look at it's that. It's close. And this is their first fire. You believe that? They've swung around. Um, getting rid of their first fire right away. So this is three dice, four, four, three, two... <laughs> Four dice for twos. He's gonna suck. One more. Oh, it's three oh, dice. It's three. It's three. Never mind. Okay. I lied. Ugh. Now they're shaking. <laughs> oh dear. So, uh, well, you're, those were those would have been. Remember, because you do get a little cover there, so that would have been for threes. Oh, okay. Then I take one. So I'm not shaken, but I'm disordered to the rule of six. I think. No, you were no, five. I did, roll, I did not roll a six. Okay. Alas. Alas. These Prussian grenadiers, another first fire. These fellas, so these fellas turn to flank, and that's where they're going to be doing their work. Three. I think three for twos again. Yeah. Accurate. Oh. Twelve, you know? Uh, yeah, same odds all over. Oh, took one. Yeah. Yeah. Damage, damage. That's all the shooting, right? I think so. All right. All right. Let's deal with this mess. This is a this is a massive, massive mess. And I was just reading the deal here. The way this works is it does have to be, this is legit because you can't go to the front, but once the front is pinned, you can charge to the side. Um, usually you can't. Um, where did it go? Fighting, fighting the combat. I was reading it. Here is. the hits a unit normally fights to its front but if it's attacked to its side or rear or if attacked from multiple directions then attacks are distributed as follows the player must decide where a unit's attacks are directed before rolling the dice you must allocate at least half of your attacks to your front and whatever its situation you cannot allocate more than half to either flank or rear Our dudes, the uh, cuirassiers, get nine dice. You got to split them up five, four. Uh, five so it's you've got to go five here, four here. Or like six here. Three. No. It, oh, that's right. Yeah, you could. You could. So you've got to give at least five to the front, Red. It just depends. Okay. So we have to roll the little separately, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give five to the front. And four to the flank. Okay. Five to the front, four to the flank. Uh, so we'll figure that out. That for a second. Oh, 
five to the front and four over here. Okay. The evade thing doesn't cover me because I'm pinned, correct? Well, yeah, you're already you're already in you're yeah. already meleeing these guys. Yeah, because it doesn't say that in the first rules it must cover it in the second, which is no problem. So yeah, I'm gonna go five to the front and four to the four to the front. To my All right. flank. All right, so it's gonna be you know, you're rolling five and Velker is rolling nine. You're both charging. Uh, let's figure out. Let's figure out our uh, our melee, our hand to hand modifiers. Uh, usual roll of four. You're both charging, so that drops it to three. Neither of you are shaken or disordered. This is not the rear flank. There are no supports. Uh, okay, that's it. Yeah, nine. So it's nine for threes and five for threes. Did a good roll here. Damn, that was not it. bad. Yeah. It's... Ooh. I got seven. Seven. All right. Let me switch this, because obviously this is backwards. Okay. So, uh, Red will have you roll these off here. This is a, uh, you're going to need seven dice for threes. All but two. Belker four for threes. Yes! Oh! Actually lost that one. We'll see what happens. All right, so that's this piece. Now let's go over here. This is you, Ron, right? Correct. You didn't seem too happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is charging. So it's going to be hand-to-hand uh, -hand six. So this is going to be six for threes, four for, and this is now going to be four for fours, because he's being charged to flank. Come on, Delador. Yes, I agree. Don't fail me. Don't fail me now. I feel like being pulled up by a seventeen-year-old. Three. I mean, a thirteen-year-old. <laughs> and red. Ooh. Three. Hot dice. Hot dice. Hot dice. All right, so Ron. Now the one thing you do have is at the same excellent morale, three for threes. Comes all ones. Ah! Oh. <laughs> he called it. Wow. Okay, now I'm gonna roll three for threes. I'll curse myself. Almost, but enough. <laughs> Dude, right. one. Gone. All right, so this steps out. Now, we still have to deal with the question of the plus. I'm stepping this one out, too. We still have to deal with the question of the D3s. Both Red and Velker roll a D3. Yeah, Red has lost this, unless. Three. 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 Yeah, so that's a tie. So Red loses. What? Um, no, he's winning right now, isn't no, he? he? No, he's got no. He's got four. Oh, I see what you're saying. He's got yeah. two to three, two to three. Yeah. But, yeah, okay, so that adds two both ways. Wow. Yeah, he wins. He does win. Um, so he now goes to a real five, though. Oh, yeah. I would expect that. That's a real five. Velker goes to a four. You keep your three. So they're and, not. And now we roll off. There's. Does this result in him? No, he's not shaken because he's Prussian, right? Yeah. He has. Yeah, as, he has four. As Velker is. Velker is shaken. No, is he large? He's not. He is shaken. That shakes Velker. He's defeating hand in combat in any case. Well, that's that's just what causes the that's what causes the uh, the check. I'm talking about yeah. modifiers to the check. Right. So let's do it uh, one at a time. Number one, excess from shooting. No, not that. No, defeated in hand to hand combat. Velker, two d six. Oh, you're not. I have a question. Uh, Wouldn't it be four, four and three and four because we're both shaken from combat. 
Well, we're doing oh, it. For, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. We're doing yeah, it for okay. different I'm reasons. Mistaken. We're doing it for different yeah. reasons. So it's two d six minus one for you, Valker. Seven. That is, if the unit is cavalry, it retires one full move to its rear without changing facing, and at all times avoiding contact. If unable to come, only if it's unable to comply. So yeah, all you do is bounce one move to the rear. 18 inches. And this drops one. Now, Ron, you will check. Uh, you have no excess, but you do have to check. 2d6. Five infantry. Uh -oh. The unit retires one full move to the rear without changing formation. At all times of winning contact, it becomes disordered. Uh, one full move to the rear. Now, isn't that through the 45? Yeah, he goes through his he goes through his rear area, so he should probably head over this way. The question is, can he get clear after one he move, twelve inch move? He can. He gets up to two to make to clear it. If he can't do his right. two moves though, then he breaks. So he basically is twenty four inches. Right, right. So keep going, keep going. There it is. Oh, so only if he only if he stops in, uh, and interpenetrates somebody while he's fleeing, I mean retiring, then right. it causes the issue. Yeah. Okay. Right, because if there were like a bunch of units stacked up back here, then he'd be a, he'd have a problem. <laughs> so he goes drifting off back this way. Now the other question is my turn. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure that you do. Well, wait. Yeah, the only thing I'm concerned about no. is, is looking at number four. It says, no. if shaken by, by draw. So, so, so it wasn't a draw. So it wasn't a draw. Nope, you're fine. Okay. You're back to four. You're still, I mean, you are shaken, but you don't test for it. Right. You're just exhausted. That, from fighting was, that was a win. That was a rather dramatic win for the Austrians. Well done. Woohoo! Holy cow. Yeah, the, the Velker dice went away for a turn. Oh my goodness. Hey, Belker, did you feel the ball slip away from you just as you kicked? <laughs> but for the for the record, I think Ron's the one that wound up with uh, how many how many hits did you get? You only got half your hits, right, Ron? Yeah, I only got half. That's really what did it, to be honest. And then what killed me too was uh, didn't save anything. <laughs> yeah, was I also the way of trying to I, save myself. Freaking, I I missed I all three rolls. One, out of one my two, four. two. Yeah, that's it. Because that's actually what hangs the hits on yourself. Wow, rough, rough round for the Prussians, no doubt about it. All right, but that was it, right? That is it, I think. Ron, you were done, I think. All right, Austrians. What you got for initiative moves? Um. Okay. Can somebody take a measure and see how many of these guys are within 12 inches of either one of these two batteries? I think they're wide 12. Oh. I well, mean, that is the range, right? It has to be 12. He is. Yeah. They're all within. Well, yeah, they're all within 12, 12 but no, you're not going to get this guy. Not. These two. He's not. I don't think he is. This no. guy is in. And I don't this guy's think he barely is. out. Yeah. But these two in the these front, two are. Yep. they can get a free move out of it. So you could bring them forward, probably. Or change formation. Well, they don't have to give the room to change formation, unfortunately. But watch out for that canister range, though. Because remember, you're not going to be able to shoot. If they take an issue move, can you then command them later? Or do nope. you have... Okay, Ooh. so if you wanted to do more than one move, you have to wait and command them then. Okay. Hmm. Because you're going to lose a bunch of movement. Yes, I agree. All your movement, so. so you think I should wait until the order phase to move these guys? Yeah, because that means you can like try and either shake them onto line or and then get more movement. Because um, right now, if you go try and cross across the river, you're going to end up right in canister range in front of them. Velker and encourages that, this. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. Velker encourages it, yes. Yeah. What about but, this gun? Is it within 12? He can't move. Well, he can prolong, I think, but... No. Um, mm -mm. no oh, all, I can't limber because yeah. this is some near war guns. He can, he can turn. Okay, they're going to stay where it's at. I might end I up mean, blocking him. Um, The only free move I'm going to take is with this guy mm -hmm. and probably want to move him this way. And go right ahead. 
That don't cost nothing. Don't forget your command range. So, yeah. well, you can, if you go all the way out there, as long as you're within like 12 right there, you're fine. Why don't you move that for me? And sure. uh, I need to look at what's going on. Slide and left. How far? Tell me where it is. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. No, uh, that's too far. That's too far. Moving back right there. So he's still within 12 of the commander. <laughs> yep. uh, okay, so that means these guys aren't within 12. They can't move at all. This guy could. We can't do an initiative move, but you can definitely work. I should just try to break into line with this guy right here. Possibly, but you might, you might mask your gun if you do that. But it's something you could definitely do. Because you could do one there and then the rest there, but you might... You'll probably mask the gun if you do that, but... Where's their command? For... They... These are grenadiers. Right. Oh, that's your command guy. So I, I could go it's... one here, and the rest of them there, and then shift this way a little bit. You can't move. Yeah, if you... Oh, that's right, because it's one move, not... Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. The risk, course, the risk with command is that you might only get one move there too. So it's like, <laughs> right. I got Brown there to push. You know, so oh, we have right. We do have Brown to roll. Colrad around or or Colrad or whatever his name is. <clears throat> He's a rat. I shouldn't do that. That's unfair to rats. He's certainly not been highly motivated. No. Let's go ahead and leave that guy where he's at. Um, minus or, move. Think, or should I just move? Because they got first fire and everything. Everything across the creek might be good on them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna. <clears throat> let's go ahead and move this guy into. Into line. Yeah. All these cavalry over here are definitely within 12. I'm just guy at the back. Ben's mass for now, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, these guys already shot, so they can't go. This first fire should have been gone, and I don't know if I had gotten all the count for first fire on him. Oh, good point. Or this guy. Yeah, I realized the same thing when my grand ears. I fired with them, but I'm not sure if I counted their first fire. I forgot they had that. So it depends on what Jim rules. Um, do I just go in and try to cripple this cavalry here? No. Oh. oh, that's Prussian. No, that's Prussian line. That's. You could still go for at it. Four. But... They're they're at there. Just take these guys forward. I'm within twelve on them. So you're. Just go for it. <laughs> and just go for these guys. I mean, hey, <laughs> they're miniature figures. They're not going to die. Uh, somebody want to measure the distance so in case, just in case he has a a, a he, reason to. Uh, he's gonna get closing fire on you. Yeah, he's just gonna he's look. just gonna shoot you in the face. Hmm. You are so supposed to wait and order these guys to go over here with these cussars. I mean, let me see. If you if you shatter these guys, that's another brigade broken, because these guys are shaken. If you shake these guys, that means then the this means they start the turn with another broken brigade. Yeah, that's that's better that we wait and move these guys during the movement turn. Yeah, I think you want to try and smack the the dragoons around so we can break another brigade. Yep, we can try. It, no promises, but we can try. I mean, yeah. It's like, well, yeah. Um, Let me see if I have anything I want to do over here. I think there is. I'm going to pull back the Jaegers here. Mm -hmm. Or shift them a little bit. Yeah. Let me uh, make room. Got six inches basically to play with because of the trees. Mm -hmm. That's probably it because I have to wheel. 
Uh, do you guys have 12? Let me see. They are. I can get, move up and get an obstructed shot, I think. Do better than you no know, shots. Yeah, stop him right there so I don't obstruct the other shot. And they'll stay where they are. Can't rally them anyway, so. I think that's all my initiative movement. All right. Who wants to start the ordered moves? Um. My guys are staying where they are right now, so. Okay, those guys are staying put. That guy can't do nothing. Gun I could bring there. this. I could try to do something cheeky, but I'm not sure if it would work out well. Cheeky. Wait, man, you're not playing the break. Try something with the cavalry first. And I'm going to uh, see if I can't get the SARS to tr charge home through here. And yes, I do know I'm going past the battery. Yeah, they will definitely get a traverse shot. Oh, yeah. Uh, Radicati's right there. They're within 12. Are they within 12 inches? They are. It's Radicati. He's a nice. You need an you need an eight to convince them. It's a nine. Why do I need an eight? Because you're within twelve inches of the enemy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Nice slow number. There you go. You got That'll one one move. I know it's more than enough. That's straight ahead, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. You, right here. Yeah, you're 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 going straight in. Yeah, I'm just checking to see. Okay. It's going to be canister range. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can get that to turn. Okay. Oh. It's Try with this one. Let's try to get these guys to pivot and hit these guys. The dragoons over here. Nope. And I'll rope. You, huh? You, you can't. If you're, ta you're talking about these guys? Or yes. No. Only one to the front. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to try and shift him to support. Same with these guys back here. Or, yeah, we can try that. Let's just go ahead and sh try to sh shift this whole uh, brigade here to shift it to support here. Right. Uh, Rolling for it. Hey, yeah. Exactly right. Oh, take it back. That fails. They're shaking. You're done. Right. Okay. Trats. Oh, this is close enough. Well, they got to be near this thing. They weren't over there. There you go. They're like right about here, I think. No. Yeah. They're a bit further up because originally they're like they're eight point two away from me because I was looking at how much I could fire at them. Okay, so right so bring up at nine point seven. Sorry. Eight what? Uh, are they good, Ron? Where they are? Yeah, they're good right there. Right there, you see that? He was right. Oh, brats! Damn it! What? Right here? Yep. Yep. Because they were really close to these guys. They were only eight something away from these guys. Mm -hmm. Go back. Then they should put you back by an inch. That's seven and a half. All right. So that's done for Radicati. Who's next? Come on, can you call her at maybe? Good 
he's an eight. This a unit of line is going to break into line and uh, form line here to. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, some some days my days go worse than others. You're fine. Shaken, oh wait, shake, no. red shaken doesn't apply to orders. So. Yeah, they can't. So they're fine. Uh, These guys are. Oh, no, the cavalry. The cavalry does do their thing. Yeah, they can do that. So these guys can, yep. everybody mm -hmm. else can continue to move as well. Yep, go ahead. Okay. They, so, are, they are shaken, but that doesn't apply to command. Caught myself. Caught myself. Hey, no problem. Okay. Yep, we, we, I applied that. That I applied, Has. I can do this yet. Oh. Can you rally unit after it's moved, or can you only rally nope. if they stay still? Nope. Okay. It's the only order you Thank can you. give. Thank you. It's the only order you can give the unit. It's the only order the commander. That's the last order the commander gives to. Like that. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can roll for uh, Colrette. Or... Yeah, sure. It's oh, for these four right. guys. It's for these four guys, right? Yeah, because these guys moved in the initiative part. Yes. Yeah. And what are they doing? What? Uh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. They failed. I failed anyway. Failed. Doesn't matter. You go. have your re you have your brown reroll. Okay. These guys are going to move across the bridge. Uh, this guy's going to move across the forge, as far as he possibly. No, he's going to try to go into the town, if he can. Well, if it's uh, is it a brigade order or is it an individual unit order here? That's where I'm stumped. Uh, let's go ahead and get. No, let's just do. Let's just try to move these units across the uh, river. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna reroll, and that's still an eight, right? So, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because Brown doesn't add anything. No, Brown, Brown's, anyway. Brown's rating doesn't matter. Hey, there we go. Well, he only said move across the river. He did not say change formation. Yep, hey, that's what I got. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's like one move right there. But you've got... Up to three, so right there. That's a Ford, though, so they can go like all the way. I mean, get all the way up here if they really want to. But... Nope, cross the river. That's it. The Ford. Oh, the Ford. That's it. Like I say, it's, it's perfectly fine to get up here. I regard clearing that marsh as crossing the river. And it's obviously the objective. Where to get some nice permeable brush? I like this stuff. It's nice and colorful, but it's bumpy. Okay, I'm going to move my leaders. Go right ahead. Brown rode all the way over here to figure out what the heck Colorette was up to.
All right. Any other movement? You good? Ready for shooting? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Shooting phase. Where do you want to start? I did shoot my uh, grenadiers at uh, his guns here. This gun. The only thing I then have to check, and I was wondering about this, is when he gets to shoot at your guys, I believe this is considered simultaneous. So no he still gets a shot at these guys. I understand that, yeah. Yeah. Um, however, well, it doesn't, well, okay, so who are you shooting? Sorry. This uh, Austrian Grenadier uh, Brigade that didn't get its first shot when it first shot the first time. Yeah, but the problem is, I, I, the, the problem is I'm not giving it to you now that you've rolled out into line. You spent it when you were in column, and I went back and checked. Let me do it again now that we're here to see what we need to roll off against. Because that's a pretty dramatic difference. Let's see here. It's unfortunately long gone from the chat. Yeah. Um, how are we going to resolve that? All right, Velker. Yes. For this gun here, let's have you make a save. Uh, it's against a yeah, 1d6 for 4. That's it. Go ahead. All these other ones will get their first fires, um, since they're it's it since it doesn't matter since they're not in, in line they're still in that column you fired from. All right. So who's first? Are my guys going to shoot? Aren't Those, you not my it, guys shoot in here? line? Sure. That's that's fine. Uh, so that's three D six for fours, fives, because those are gun, those are deployed artillery. Three D six, not six D six. I said yeah, three D six. Three D three D six for fives. Okay. Hey. Okay. Nothing. Nice. 1d6 over there if you want it for a 4. 6. Got, ooh, and a disorder. That's actually probably better than the hit. Velker, 1d6 for 4. guys don't have any shots okay uh okay i guess i'll go over to my artillery yeah um uh, who are they shooting at let's see it's gonna be either the gun or those guns they're basically the equidistant yep you call it uh let's see let's shoot the infantry because i think i'll have an easier shot at breaking them at this point wow <laughs> two 2t6. One hit. You need six. Oh, no. Uh, ha ha. Then I will. Um, take Boy, Kronos, he's done for the night. So these guys have to shoot these guys in here mm -hmm. because uh, they're the closest target. Yep. 3d6. So for fives. For because... fives. Because disordered, yeah. One hit and disordered. Nope. Guns will also shoot them because they're close. Mm -hmm. 
One hit. Mm -hmm. For six. Again! Yay! <laughs> Look at you! Look at Save you! Save your artillery, it's... Superhero guy. Uh, a destructed shot from the Grenadiers. Yep. 3d6 um, for fives. Mm hmm Up, oh, fours. First fire. Uh, they fired before, okay. and... Okay, okay. I'm taking it so, off. I don't know how I missed it. Okay. Yeah, 2d6 for I fours. I missed it, too. So. Two hits. One of them. Okay. Uh, they will fire at close range. Yes, they will, which will wash that. Whoop. Why is there drawing? Whoops. That was meant to be a ruler. <laughs> so I need threes or fours. Fours. Uh, three hits. Wow. And oh my God. They are super disrupted. <laughs> that, wow. That, that was nasty, man. That special secret uh, disorder. That shakes them. Uh, they will take an obstructed shot at the Grenadiers. Uh, I don't think they can even see them. Oh, too many trees? Yep. Four inches. Okay. Yeah. Oof. It's your call. That is so freaking close. That's supposed to be half. It's half. It's an obstructed shot. Okay. Three for fives. Mm -hmm. One. Disrupted. That's a six. Hey. Look at you. Uh. No disrupted shot from these guys. Yeah. Uh, one hit, and they're already disrupted, but they're just, now they're double disrupted. Double, dis double secret disrupted. Got it. So a lot of disrupting, so, but not a lot of killing. Interesting. All right, so, Falker, your turn. Let me see. Um, 3d6. One red, uh, one d six for six. No, okay, Velker. What did you roll to hit him? One three six. I'm disordered as well. Yep, now I gotta check if that stops you. I think it does. Uh, there's a test. It's not. Is it closing fire or is it support fire? No, this is actually. Uh, what do they call it? Traversing. Front, Traver uh, traverse, target. Traversing. That's it. Okay, so I don't think that, the target that's traverses not... his front. Yeah. So I do not think that is technically a test. I don't know if it's a test. I think it just might stop him outright. All right. For example, yeah. Surely your infantry will wish to fire. Yes, surely. Okay, yeah, you're just supposed to do it as part of the target's move. So, yeah, it will not count as a... Uh... So, here's the other question, though. Why didn't we have the Dragoon's counter charge? Oh... They certainly get to. Oh, and that that would change a lot of things. He still gets to shoot at him because he's going to cover. He's, he he covered well yeah, more than half. his front. Right, he's going to go up to like here and cover at least half his front right there. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll fight it out right here then. We'll fight it out right here. Okay. Uh, yeah. What it was, I think we were just with the 
with a failed role and you mistakenly have, you know, forgetting that he was fatigued or whatever to kind of support and then he just skips his counter charge question. Yep. All right. So that's uh that's a 8 to a 6. It's 8 to 6 initially. Let's take a look. They're both charging, so you're looking for threes. Uh, you are shaken. Sorry, disordered, so that's looking for fours. Yep. So that's a result modifier. Over I here, we, they have this overall size modifier, which means, Velker, you're rolling an extra die. I think they get... I think that's... In, is that included in their... Oh, it's, or... it's two... No, it's two in combat. It's one in shooting, two in combat. Um... Including their profile, because these are oh, wait no, let me see, because these dragoons, oh they also have eight. Never mind. Yeah. No, it's not included. It's going to be gonna ten to six. Ten dice looking for threes, six dice looking for fours. Velker, we'll have you roll off yours first since I just happened to notice you first. Uh, da, 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 two dice for four. Got one. Got one. That shakes him, though. Yeah, it won't matter, though, if he wins. Five dice for four for you, Red. Straight one. Ooh. Oh dear. One. All right. You do get one support, so that takes it to three. But I think that's it. That's our theoretical. I don't see any other modifiers. Right. No. So that's a that is a hussar loss. They are currently at five over. They're, they got five total damage. Stamina is three, so this is two d six minus two for their result. So four, they're gone. Velker, now you may make a sweeping advance if you. Oh, you're shaking, aren't you? That adds up to three. What's your stamina? No, they're four. Remember, they get, the large, for whatever reason, gets a plus one to their stamina that they don't build into the thing. That's what that guy pointed out to me in the, uh, the chat. So he's actually not shaken. He's at a three. So, uh, yeah, Velker, you could make a sweeping advance and strike these cuirassiers if you wished. Yes, please, thank you. Go ahead. You're going to have to slide a little bit. Grab all these guys. Mm -hmm. so long. That's right. This is the reverse of what Chrono did to friggin' uh, Jeff. It is. It is at that. That's three to three. Okay. So uh, these guys, however, do. I don't see any reason why these guys wouldn't have the chance to counter charge. So, Velker, why don't you back it off an inch? Yeah. I'm assuming they want to counter charge. I can't believe they wouldn't. Oh, yeah. They're going to definitely counter charge. Just one inch, Velker. You weren't you weren't that far away from him. That's only like four inches, but okay, that that's fine. I just wanted to see them move reasonably, so they're both charging. Um. Oops. All right, so they're rolling ten dice for threes again. They're walking into combat. Ten dice for threes, and you are rolling nine dice for threes. I don't see any modifiers. I have one extra die. Yeah, Velker's got one. Do I see any modifiers at all? Just want to check myself. Oh, one Look last round of large. combat. He does, so you've got two. That's why he's rolling ten dice. Ten dice, Velker, four twos. Is either side shaken or disordered? I think the Austrians are shaken, 
right? Okay. Equal to their stamina. Yeah. And they yeah, are. Uh, yeah. And so are the dragoons. They are not. They are large, so they get a plus one oh. to their stamina. Okay. That was apparently oh, like I'm a... rolling for fours. Yep. Yeah, and Velker's rolling for twos. New record. Now we'll see. I, I hit nine. That's the max that counter counts. Seven. You hit how many? Seven. You got seven. You know what? Yeah, got him. Oh my god. No, you needed fours, Brad. Again. You needed fours. Still, you Still six. It's six, oh. not seven. Okay. Well, just saying. Still, yeah, it's a lot. Crisp. That's a lot. All right, Velker, six dice for fours. Six for fours. Two. Oh, dear. Nine for fours. Three is just Oh, as threes. Three. Yes, nicer morale. Yeah, correct. Nine for threes. Three. That's a lead. Now he gets. No, he, he saved all but three. He saved all but three. Oh, got it. Sorry. <laughs> Should yeah, I was. That's. I was. Gonna, yeah, you confused me. I'm easy to confuse though. Uh, so I'm gonna put. These are gonna be for our extraneous markers. Uh, red. I, we need a D3 from you. Okay, and I have support. We'll get there. Ooh, nice. Three. Mm -hmm. That's it. And support for Velker. I think you're just getting a one. Yep. No, you don't. You don't roll for it. You just get. You just get a one. All right. That's a loss for Velker. Uh, boop de boo. Right, those don't count. So it's a loss. However, this is to six. Wow. Yeah. I don't think it matters. However, this is to seven. That's minus three. Is that right? Yep. 2d6 minus 3, Velker. Five. Fives. That's just enough. One full move to the rear without charging. It becomes disordered if it was not already so. Uh, one full move to the rear. Usual stamina is 3. So down it goes. Oh, this guy could be stopped last turn. Who's that? Oh, yeah. He would have... He would have made his way... He would have made his way out. Quite correct. Uh, so, not seven, in fact, but... Four, because it's a large yeah, thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Four. I think that breaks the brigade, because they're both going to start shaking. Yep. And that is going to pretty well end this thing. I would say. Yeah, I think that's going to bring it to an end, crew. Yeah, there's still a lot of shooting to be done over here. And yeah, these guys are in shape. But the cavalry's gone. Because this brigade is going to all... Brigade Cow is going to fall back. Um, so artillery's in trouble too. <laughs> well, the artillery's going to do some real damage to these guys if they ever get off the dime. But the problem is they can't stop them. You know, they can't stop these guys coming over. No, Jeff wasted the cavalry last time. Uh, that that much is. Why oh, his cavalry could break any second? Because I need to fatigue one more friggin' unit. Is that right? Yeah, this guy could yeah. break any amount too. This guy needs to get shaken, and this brigade's in trouble. All right, we may have to come up with an off-hour way of doing this because I don't know how many more turns. It is that time. It is that time. We are at 9.30 where I like to call a That call. is true. It is that time. So I guess we'll, we'll, all right, all right. We'll keep, you know, I like to have universal agreement as that a game is done. I think it's very close. But I, I take your point, Ron, completely. That And what I'm concerned about, really, too, is that these guys, what kind of shape are these guys in? They're in well, really, these guys are, yeah, these guys are in really good shape. These are untouched. But... Yeah, I mean, so there is an answer there. The this brigade up front is Ferdinand's about taking a pounding though. Yeah. Well, like this brigade so takes Fer any more damage. Ferdinand is this this unit. Who's where's the rest of Ferdinand? 
it's this guy, this guy, the two. Oh, are that's really that's like, that's right, that's right. Because if this and this is really bad. <laughs> if this and this, all you got to do is shake. Well, this one is. Yeah, it this is one shaking. is shaking. So this, all all of you guys are shaking. So sad for this guy. Yes, but he's fresh. So and these grenadiers back here. Oh yeah. Oh, they're not. Are they shaking? No, no, no. Mm -mm. They're taking some. Yeah, damage. so it's it's it. All right, all right. I'll buy it. All right, we'll have to come back one more time, I guess. One more time to Lobositz. The game gets interesting, um, and that way we'll have to see. Yeah, because as uh, Krana was saying, when we enter the turn next, when we go to the top of the next turn, and also, yeah, let it be said, we've only got two turns to go. Ah. Uh. You know, so it's we're we're also I think we're done. If there's two turns, I'm not sure. The I mean, the what what is the Prussian object, objective? Are they trying to break us? or Are they trying to like capture Lobosit? No, it's to break you. Okay, I'm not sure they can break us in two turns. Because uh, this brigade's pretty fresh. Like my artillery is not touched. Um, they could potentially break one of my skirmisher brigades. No, Daskowitz, no, they couldn't. This guy's in the back. They can't. They might get him in a two turns. But if they need to, I can pull him back. They're probably. They might not. They. I don't know. I'm not sure it's possible for the Prussians to break it. I mean, maybe? I have to. What do you guys on the Prussian side think? Because you could break them, but you need to break three of our. You need to break two more of our brigades to make us. Ron, leave what do you the think? Field, basically, basically leave the field. You want to go one more, Ron? And I can't. Oh, uh, and these guys can't charge woods, right? So Correct. Um, Correct. That's the other thing. You can't go in there to melee them. Right. So if I need to, I'll just pull scrimmers back behind the woods and on my nose at you. So, yeah, I don't know. All, I a... need is, all I have to do is break two brigades. Or two, not two brigades, but two units. The two fring things. Um, well, break, you have to break two brigades. And do that, you'd have to shake these guys. Which I think is technically is probably oh, I, feasible. I, I think that's I, well. Uh, here's the problem, though, with you know, yes, you'll get a shot with this gun right here, which is your best chance. I think these guys are closer. I think I could break Lucy's into. Well, I actually think he's gonna. No, I actually think there's a decent chance he breaks either one of them. Yeah. Whoever he should I think, I, could, I, I think I could break Lucy's in two turns. I think you could probably do it, yeah. All right, and at that point, this brigade goes now. All right, so, well, I guess the, the crews have spoken. They want to go again. All right, very good. I'm open to that. Uh, we might do this as a, a special add-on or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let me do the thing I always have to do and never want to forget to do, which is to save Lobosits. Yeah, the... Uh, Let's put it this way. It depends on the die come with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. You had some pretty hot dice tonight. You had some pretty hot... Yeah, I mean, you, Ron rolled... I mean... Well, and the other thing is that one that one melee where the two on one could will wind up, I think, telling a lot of the story. Yeah, because oh, yeah. because if if Ron doesn't self immolate over here on the flank of those of those cuirassiers, that's a different battle because he's got to check at that point, and that brigade could already be gone. Because remember, anybody that's supporting that loses also has to check automatically. So there, there could have been a lot different there. I still do think there's a whole lot going on with these Austrians coming over the creek. I, I, I just think that's a deal that the Prussians are going to have a hard time dealing with. But they've still got some guys in here. Um, all right, well, the crews have spoken. They're not sure, so I'm not sure. How's that? Take that. Um, let's go see if we have anybody else left out in the chat. Take care, Haz. Good night. Um, thanks. Yes. Yeah. Thanks everybody for uh, showing up. You know, we appreciate you tomorrow night. I still haven't heard the official word. I think you all know that our guy CT has always has uh, been unavailable on a couple nights. We're hoping to see him in Vance tomorrow, uh, for our first battle of part two of, uh, our chain of command Kursk battle. I hope he can be there for that. And on Saturday, we're going back. We're doing it. I, I decided I just loved it. I had a great time. We are going back to Derlone's assault. Um, where Darlone's Darlone's assault for LaSalle two at Waterloo, feeling a little bit of the uh, of the Waterloo week love with, in fact, uh, some of the players who are here right now. So, 
and and some others. So looking forward Been forward to, uh, fifty years. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're, we're for that one. We're gonna spin that forward and uh, see where that goes. That's an exciting game. And and what was really cool is if you go to the if you go to the official Sam Mustafa uh, Blucher page or to his Sam Mustafa rule page on Facebook, somebody is doing the exact same thing with mini with uh, real life minis. I saw that. Yeah, it's like oh hey that's our game so cool. Uh, they made it part of their Waterloo week themselves. So I was really happy to see it. And I don't know if you read through the results, but it actually, it's playing very, very differently than your game. I looked at it a bit, but I yeah, if have you, to go back and refresh my memory. Yeah, if you follow the AAR, it's uh, going a whole lot differently, which is really neat. So check it out. And there was a lot of great Waterloo gaming. So anyway, thanks for everybody who watched. Thanks for everybody that played. We hope to see you tomorrow.